Hello! In this lesson we are looking at mastering factoring. Our essential question is how can I use the structure of polynomials to identify factors? We have three examples in this lesson. The first two examples looks at using the difference of squares. In the difference of squares we basically have a square minus b square where a is a perfect square and b is a perfect square and these two quantities are being subtracted. When factoring them, a shortcut to using the whole idea of trinomial factoring is to write the a twice, once in each factor, and write the b twice, once in each factor, and put a plus sign in one of the factors and a minus sign in the other factor. And this works out because a times a gives me a square, and positive b times negative b gives me negative b squared. Here's our first example. We are factoring 9 minus 16 x to the power 4. We can break down 9 and 16 x to the power 4 into perfect squares. 9 can be written as 3 squared, and 16 x to the power 4 can be written as 4 x squared raised to the power of 2. We can check our work. 3 squared is 9, and 4x squared times 4x squared will give us 16x to the power of 4. From here, we can factor this difference of squares. Write 3 once in each factor. Write 4x squared once in each factor. Put a plus in one and a minus in the other. 3 times 3 gives me 9. Positive 4x squared times negative 4x squared gives me negative 16x to the power of 4. So 9 minus 16x to the power of 4 can be factored into the quantity 3 plus 4x squared times the quantity 3 minus 4x squared. Example number 2. Use the difference of squares to factor 4x squared y to the power of 4 minus 25 x to the power of 4 z to the power of 6. 4 x squared y to the power of 4 can be written as 2 x y squared raised to the power of 2 and 25 x to the power of 4 z to the power of 6 can be written as 5 x squared z to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. We can check our work. If I take 2 x y squared and multiply by 2 x y squared I end up with 4 x square y to the power of 4. And if I take 5x square z cubed and multiply it by 5x square z cubed, I am going to get 25x to the power of 4 z to the power of 6. The quantity 2xy squared raised to the power of 2 and 5x square z cubed raised to the power of 2 are squares, and this is the difference of squares. So I can factor using the idea of difference of squares. To factor, write your first term 2xy squared on the outside of each factor. Write your next term 5x squared z cubed on the opposite side of each factor. Put a plus in one and a minus in the other. I'm not done yet though because I see that x is a common term in each factor so I can factor out an x from each quantity. When I factor out an x from the first quantity I am left with 2y squared plus 5x z cubed. When I factor out an x from the second quantity, I am left with x times 2y squared minus 5xz cubed. I can combine these two x's to get x squared times the quantities 2y squared plus 5xz cubed times 2y squared minus 5xz cubed. And this is the factored form of 4x squared y to the power of 4 minus 25x to the power of 4 z to the power of 6. Last one, we're going to factor 9x squared plus 12x minus 5. In previous examples of this type, we would try to find two numbers that multiplied to 9 times negative 5, which was negative 45, and added to positive 12. Here's another method that you could factor 9x squared plus 12x minus 5. 
we start by considering that 3x is a single quantity of this polynomial 9x squared plus 12x minus 5. That means that I can write 9x squared in terms of 3x as 3x the quantity squared. I can also rewrite 12x as 4 times 3x and then I have my constant. 3x raised to the power of 2 gives me 9x squared and 4 times 3x is 12x. Next step is to replace 3x with any variable, let's say u. When I replace 3x with u, I end up with u squared plus 4u minus 5. From here, I want two numbers that multiply to negative 5 times 1, which is negative 5, and add to positive 4. These two numbers are 5 and negative 1. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. 5 plus negative 1 is 4. So I can factor u squared plus 4u minus 5 into u plus 5 times u minus 1. Next step, bring back the 3x. Remember we said that u was going to be 3x? When we substitute 3x back into u, we get 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 1. Finally, check our answer by multiplying 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 1. If done correctly, we should come back to our original polynomial. And let's double check. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times positive 5 is 15x. Negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5. Combine our like terms to get 9x squared plus 12x minus 5. And there you have it. Mind blown. All right, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.